Hey guys, the FM Gaff here. Welcome to episode 5 of my Hexagon Challenge. Now, once again I am moving clubs, or I have moved clubs. Um, and this time, once again, I got sacked. Um, now, the results weren't that bad. It was just there was a couple of big ba uh, bad ones um, that, yeah, really set me over the edge. And this is my new club. Uh, I'm now at Dunedin, Dunedin Tech who uh, wanted me before when I went to East Bay but yeah so now I'm with them and we're dead last because that's why their manager got, got sacked um so yeah just to look at look at my previous thing East Coast uh, previous fixtures I just go on them schedule uh yeah those were my first five games of the season so yeah I drew one all with three kings Rory Kelly getting a penalty, and I won 3-2, and you're ridden, and then yeah, after this game, we lo lose 3-0, and yeah, our first loss of the season, and the board were already coming to me saying, oh, you really have to do better, um, and so yeah, and they said I, I had to win the next game, literally had to, and luckily I did, won that 3-0, drew this game 1-1, uh, and then lost 3-0 to Bay Olympic, who are a good side as some of you know and yeah it was after Bay Olympic that they were they came again who and Bay Olympic are like the best side in the division a 3-0 loss and they not having that and they came and they said um and they kept like saying it and eventually I got to two options either um I'll be forced to re resign then or or and the other one was um I beg you don't sack me or something like that so I just went for the resign, I resigned, and I joined Dunedin, but what I have done, as I was on in the at the start of the episode, is I've added the African leagues that I downloaded, which is Egypt, uh, sorry, Algeria, Egypt, Nigeria, South Africa, and Tunisia, because I think um, OFC is difficult to get into, it's difficult to raise a reputation in, and yeah, I mean, I will be with Dunedin Tech to the end of the season, or whenever these guys come in, which will be the 10th of January, which is tomorrow, oh, Okay, well, th oh, this one will be the 10th of January, and uh, the other ones will be, yeah, later in the summer. Um, so, yeah, when they come in, I might look for jobs there, it might be better. Um, I was also going to add some, maybe some other ones, maybe from South America, maybe. I could put Chile in, because, yeah, some of the, yeah, I'll put Chile in. Where is Chile? And add the second division as well and yeah I'll, I'll do some South American teams like Colombia and I'll do Peru as well uh, so yeah that'll probably be it um, but yeah I just want a few more options because yeah I'm getting a bit tired of the New Zealand Fiji and yeah I'm never really staying with one club particularly long perhaps because I'm uh, going to aiming too high but yeah I'm just gonna confirm that so yeah oh Peru their, their league won't be available for another year but yeah this one will be tomorrow so good timing as will Colombia so I might look for people uh, for jobs there uh, done in tech will literally be a short term I mean well if it turns into something good if we win the league from last place and then yeah which is unlikely but yeah I don't see I don't see myself getting into the LFC Champions League anytime soon um, so yeah therefore I just wanted to get a job with any old team and then yeah just try and try and change confederation because i think it would be better and also staying in new zealand yeah you build your knowledge for new zealand but i think a variety there will help me get better jobs anyway um so yeah so now it's the 11th and i'll just look at the job center just real quick uh see if yeah so now there's quite a lot of teams from nigeria so i will apply for all of them uh actually i should probably check the MPL is at the top league. Yeah, there's only one league in Nigeria. But there is 20 teams in it, which isn't bad. That looks like the Wellington Phoenix badge. Probably is. Um, anyway, <laughs> uh, so yeah, what uh, in terms of season preview? I'll just go back to the inbox. Who are the teams? Ugh, not the inbox. Jump Centre, Aqua, Giwa, and Gaduna. Um, so see where these uh, Giwa uh, near the bottom, Aqua also near the bottom and what were the other ones? G Giduna was it? 
I should be able to remember Kaduna, there you go, and they're yeah, 19th as well. So these are all teams either 2001 or Giwa 300 to 1, which is a little bit better. But I'll apply for them all. I uh, might as well. At least it's a top division club, uh, which I've yet to have apart from Labasa, and that was with Fiji, and they were never particularly likely to uh, qualify for the Champions League or even win the league for that matter. Um, so yeah, I'll just yeah continue that. Hopefully we can get an offer. Obviously, then in tech there's still stuff to do. Uh, so yeah, Ferry Mead Bay is my former club. You just got a manager. Uh, I'll just say no comment on that. Uh, I'll say yeah. Let's be honest. I'm not really bothered about Dunedin. Uh, I'm probably shouldn't have joined them in the end, but I'll just say. At the time I felt I needed a change. Uh, say that. If you sack me now, the fans won't be happy and will put you under pressure. Fans will soon get over you leaving the club, so we decided to fight. Fine, yeah, to be honest, I'm not that bothered. So I've been fired. <laughs> Once again. <laughs> that might not look great on my thing. I probably should have just resigned, actually, uh, whilst I would get another job, but. Yeah, hopefully we'll still get the other other jobs. Anywho, so yeah, then I'm gonna just sign some players. Um, so yeah, we're still look at, waiting to hear back from the three Nigerian clubs. And yeah, let's just take it an ease. Hopefully, yeah, we'll get it now. No, still no interviews. It would say if I had an unsuccessful, yeah, an unsuccessful one, right? So, like you were just going back there. Yeah, they did receive the job application. I don't know. Maybe they're just taking their time. Oh, they're all unsuccessful. Wow. Didn't see that coming. Uh, let's go to the job center. Oh, maybe it's because I have no experience in Africa, maybe, I don't know, but I'm not sure, yeah, I mean, clearly the Pentagon Challenge is a difficult thing to do, and to be honest, I never really thought I was going to finish it all, but yeah, I, I have been enjoying it, it's just the stability has been annoying. Um, and yeah, actually, interestingly, I think I'm going to do a, a few more series like this, like where the way that update videos, I seem to enjoy them more. I didn't think I would actually, to be honest, I think I, I would think that I would like prefer doing it every game, but for me, um, yeah, I just prefer it this way, I don't know why. Um, but yeah, so I might look at maybe some more challenges. Uh, one that I was actually thinking about was one that uh, another YouTuber is doing, which is called... I think I can't remember what they called it, but it's where you uh, go around the four or five leagues in the UK slash British Isles, depending on how big a challenge you want. You start off as uh, the same, no coaching qualifications, or uh, what's the other one? Um, yeah, playing experience. Uh, and yeah, you got to try and win uh, the top division of the five or four leagues in the UK. Um, so yeah, that might be a good one to do. But yeah, I'm I'm not gonna talk like this is over. This series is over. It's just got. It's just a matter of trying to find a club. I wouldn't actually, to be honest, at this point, I wouldn't mind going back to Fiji. Uh, I don't. I think yeah. If if I if I could have a more ret reputable club, maybe Bar. If their manager suddenly decided, and actually, speak of the devil, it said up there that the Bar manager was insecure. Um. So yeah. Uh, don't know what to read into that. Job security, yeah. See, bar of insecure. As are lower hut and 2011. Um, so yeah, actually I'd really like to give Fiji another crack maybe with bar. Uh, and yeah, especially with bar you're mo more likely to get into the Champions League, which I think would be a really good move. So I'm open to not going... Uh, away from this confederation it'll be difficult because I won't I won't have the knowledge needed perhaps. 
Um, so yeah, we'll have to shard. Still the same jobs. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna stop the video here, guys, and I'm gonna skip forward to see if I get a job. But if not, then maybe I, I'll probably just end the series in this episode. Um, but yeah, we'll see. So see you guys in a sec. Okay, guys, um, I received a job interview from Honor Hunger. We're in the same division as uh, my previous team, East Coast Bays. Um, now I'm not sure whether to accept it. They're dead last, so they're likely to get relegated. But yeah, this doesn't seem like something that particularly interests me. And yeah, it might even reduce my reputation if I like don't save them or whatever. So yeah, I'm just gonna decline the interview because I don't think that's the best. But yeah, um, I'll skip forward if there's any other better job opportunities in the future. So yeah, see you guys. Hey guys, I'm back here, and um, yeah, we've had a couple of interviews at Bar and the Droga, uh, both teams in Fiji, and we haven't got them both. And I think this is yeah, this is the time where I'm just gonna end the series. It was uh, admittedly unsuccessful, but maybe uh, in the future, maybe in the next year of Football Manager, Football Manager 2016, could have another go at the Pentagon slash Hexagon Challenge. I think somewhere, some of the things where I went wrong were that uh, I put. I don't know. It seems like when it, whenever you had like the South Africa League for start, uh, t for example, to start with, you always got a job in the South African League. Uh, so maybe if I just put the best league, so maybe if I only put the New Zealand Premier Division, I'd probably get a job in it, or I don't know the Algerian Premier Division, just because it, <laughs> it's coming up there. So if I only put top divisions in, then maybe and maybe the better ones, unlike like Fiji. Uh, maybe it'll be easier to carry on, but yeah, this is where I'm going to end the series, guys. Um, and I shall, I've decided I'm going to be probably recording straight after this one, well, not straight after, but in the next couple of days, definitely. Um, I'm going to do the UK challenge, or whatever it's called, what you got to win, and I'm going to do it with all five, so it'll be the British Isles challenge, if you're being finicky about it. I don't know why I'm continuing this. Um, but yeah, so this will be the end of this series, so I'm going to quit to the start screen, not saved, and uh, I might as well on camera delete it just to show you, uh, let me get you, hexagon challenge, delete, so yeah, that's the end of the hexagon challenge guys, um, but yeah, hopefully, um, I will, yeah, do some, do that UK challenge in the future and that will probably be it for my series. In terms of my other two series, um, I haven't particularly stopped either of them. Whitehawk is something I definitely want to continue with, but I'm thinking, I think this UK challenge might be replacing the Quest for European Glory um, as it's with Newcastle and yeah, I just, I don't know whether it's that I haven't played it in a long time, it's just that I've kind of lost the passion for it. Newcastle aren't a really a team that I have any I don't know preferences for and yeah since I started that series at like before before I got my new computer and everything and yeah some of the quality isn't great so I think I'm just going to draw a line under that series and this one clearly maybe we'll see a new one as well as the UK challenge come out in uh, the next couple of weeks but yeah the white hawk one i hope to continue uh for now anyway um and yeah that's that's basically it that wraps up this series um so yeah i've been the fm gaffer and i'll see you guys in the next well series i guess <laughs>